These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial for the PS4, I'm going to show you an alternative web host exploit method using the ESP8266 for your PS4 that's running 5.05. So if you're one of the lucky owners that has a 5.05, awesome and congratulations. If you don't have one, you can by all means go to Amazon, go to eBay, try to get like, you know, a pro or a slim or a fat with an older firmware while you can for a decent price before it gets too ridiculously high. You know what I mean? So here are some of the files that we'll need for today's tutorial. Of course, you're gonna need the ESP8266. Here's an Amazon link that I've used. I'm sure there's other websites online like AliExpress that's much cheaper, but if you wanna use like Amazon, here's a link. I'll have a link in the video description. Another thing is, since I'm using Windows 10, I know some users, they need the correct driver, so I have a link in the video description. Go ahead, download the driver for your correct operating system, okay? Next, we're gonna need another program called the Pi Flasher. It allows us to flash the firmware files over to the ESP8266. So I'll have a link in the video description as well. I'm using the X64. And if you don't know if you're 32-bit or 64-bit Windows, go ahead, download X86. Last but not least, we're gonna need the, the firmware files to flash over. So I like to use Codemaster. I'll have a link to his website as well. And for today's tutorial, we're gonna be using 2.6. It works pretty well, so I'm gonna showcase that in today's tutorial. And if you're curious, I'll have a link in the video description to another uh, developer, RetroGamer74. He also has a pretty good uh, alternative uh, payload web holes for ESP8266 as well. But we won't do that in today's tutorial. Uh, the process is the same for any developer payload um, web holes you wanna use basically, but we're gonna showcase uh, Codemaster for today because uh, it's pretty cool and I like it. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing is, Here's my Windows 10 folder. So if you haven't done so, let's go ahead and extract it. I'm gonna reinstall this guy just to show you the process. So since I'm X64, run that installer and we're done. Great, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that folder. And then Codemaster, right click, extract to its own folder. And inside this folder, we have a PDF manual that shows you know all the things we're gonna talk about for today. And then also it has the .bin file as well. So let's go ahead and run the Node MCU. I already have my ESP8266 plugged into my computer using a uh, USB cable to micro USB basically. So the serial port, I'm gonna refresh this and in the list I have COM3. It might be different for your computer. So go ahead and check your setup. Node MCU, MCU firmware, go to browse and I'm gonna go ahead and select the 2.6. Uh, Baud rate, select the highest rating, 921600. Uh, flash mode, dual I.O. Is, is good, so no need to change it. And then erase the flash, yes, wipes all data, and click on the flash node MCU. So here we go, we're in process. This is gonna take a little while, but not too long. And once this is done, um, you can go ahead, pull it out of your computer, plug it back into your computer, or if you wish, you can go ahead and plug it into your PS4 USB port, the right most port, the port furthest away from the Blu-ray disc drive because you want to use the one that's closer to the disc drive for your USB flash or maybe your external hard drive if you're going to be installing your package files. Okay, so we're almost done. And you know when it's done when it says done, right? So what I'm going to do is pull it out, put it back in, and then that's it. Or I could have pulled it out and then put it into my PS4 and then turn on PS4. So what I want to do next for this next portion of video tutorial is I'm going to turn on my uh, game capture card here and I'm going to show you the PS4 setup, how to set up the network connections, how to log in. I'm going to try to run the hen basically and then just run one of my random games I have installed on my uh, PS4 hard drive to showcase that yeah, this does work. It's a lot of good times. It's a good alternative to my previous video where I did the al web host exploit on the PC. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so here we are in my PS4, so let's do this. So let's go ahead, log into my local account here. And what we're gonna do is just like we did last time, previous video, I'm gonna go to settings, just showcase some example stuff here. So let's go to system. System information, clearly on 5.05, awesome. Automatic downloads, all that stuff is unchecked, okay? 
And then what we're going to do is let's go and do the network stuff. So we're going to go to network. Connect internet is checked. Set up internet connection. So let's do that. I'm going to use Wi-Fi. Custom. And name the network. Once it does show up, it's going to be called ESP8266 exploit. And the password is PS4 exploit. All lowercase. It's all in the readme file as well. Okay. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Almost done. Okay. Automatic. Do not specify. Manual. And primary DNS. Oh, I forgot. It's going to be 13.37.13.37, which I had previously. Okay. So what we're going to do is go to next. Automatic. Do not use. Test internet connection. So that's the SSID. IP address will get momentarily and internet connection will get that momentarily as well. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and let's go back. Let's go all the way up to user's guide and user's guide and success. Cool. So um, let's take a look around, see how, you know, it looks like it rotates. Okay. And it's cool how when you go over to each icon, it has a little help screen, tells you what it does. You got the dumper, FTP. And let's keep on going, see what else is there. Custom. That looks pretty cool. There's the database backup. So custom, database backup, app to USB. So let's go ahead and let's run the hen 1.6. And this is pretty good. I've not had any issues running it so far to date. And let's see what happens. Done. Awesome. So now what we can do is go ahead, you can install your package files if you wish. But what I'm gonna do instead, I'm just gonna run a random game. God of War looks good. Let's uh, see. Well, clearly it works because if it didn't, I would not be able to run the game from that main X and B screen and it would have been just locked or you would get an error message basically. But the fact that I'm literally running the game right now means that the hen portion of it is working. So that's today's video PS4 jailbreaking kind of tutorial using the web host method on ESP8266. If you like simplicity, if you don't want to use an Android phone, or you don't want to use a computer or a laptop to host an exploit, consider the ESP8266 is a badass solution. So if you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.